Hi there, I'm Kim and I'm just going to do a quick demonstration for you of one little specific part of rabbit grooming, which is to groom under the tail. So we got Nori here, as in gnawing wood and gnawing everything. Not ignoring, but gnawing. So we're going to give him a little, little run. He's got a tiny little mat, but some bunnies unfortunately do get a lot of mats under the tail. So here we go. We're going to have him parallel to the table. So we're stroking him to calm him down and keep him nice and still. And then we're going to slide this hand under his breast and lift. And that hand is going to go under the butt with a finger each side of the tail. And we're lifting in this way. So the bunny feels very supported under the backbone there. And we always keep the back slightly bent so that the backbone has its natural curve. You're going to twist him round and sit him on his butt like that, like a good boy. And we're maintaining some pressure here and here, but we're not clutching. It's very important not to clutch the bunny because if you do, the bunny will struggle and then you'll lose your grip. And if he does pop out of your grip, you just reposition him and start again. So we're going to change pressure points with this arm and we're bringing this arm down here. I'm going to just get him exactly in the position I want with this hand and I'm keeping pressure here to keep him nice and steady and the use of the body as well. So he's leaning against my body for support. So he's got support here, support from the body, support from this arm, this hand, and this leaves this hand free. So I can have a little feel around here and I can feel a little bit of matting there and a little bit of matting there. So how do we get this matting out? So we never just comb it out because that would pull on the skin and hurt the rabbit terribly. So what we do is we find the mat and we pull the mat apart with our fingers like that with our, the nails on our thumb and forefinger. We pull it out that way and then we pull it that way. So we're switching position of the fingers like that. That way, then that way. That way, then that way, then that way, that way. Switching position of the fingers. That way, then that way, that way, then that way. And what you'll find is that that mat just gently lifts out. See the hair with the mats in it. And that's how you remove a mat. I can see another one down here. You can see the bare patch, that's where the mats are starting to pull the skin and take the skin, take the fur right out of the skin. So it's a constant pulling and hurting the bunny all the time. So fingers again, this way, then this way. So pulling that mat this way, then this way, this way, then this way, this way, then this way, this way, then this way. And we can just remove that mat nice and easy, very, very easily. You can see the mats in there. So it's painless, the bunny's well supported so he's not panicking. And we're just removing that matting and then to to comb under here, we've got the same position. We just use a little comb and just gently comb our bunny down here so that he actually doesn't end up getting the mats because prevention and everything is always better than cure. So we're just going to brush under the tail, keep that tail lovely and free of mats. And just around here, watch the genital, don't hurt it. Just on the side with a little tiny slicker brush. Just pulling all that fur down and getting it lovely and free, flowing free of mats. And when we do the other side as well. Okay, that's all.